<laughs> Good evening, YouTuber Pressure FM here. <laughs> and I must say, I find this image quite amusing. Um, I came across this when I was looking, uh, actually researching the rumor that you could fight Professor Oak in the original Japanese version of Pokemon Green. Um, in the in the uh, Japanese version, you do actually fight him um, after the Elite Four, I believe, and he has stronger Pokemon than the champion, naturally. I personally would rather partake in this fight, it looks quite interesting. Today we have a battle against Supi in an NU tier, and it appears he actually has quite an interesting team. I'm not sure what I'm going to lead with. Uh, it seems logical to lead with uh, Regirock anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. And he leads with a jump bluff, and expecting the sleep powder, I'm going to go to Amoongus to take it. And just wait to see what he's going to do. Seed bomb. <laughs> Must be joking, buddy. Just going to try and get off the spore. And I did not know that sleep powder could actually affect grass types. So I thought that was only spore. So I'm going to. I have a heal bell on my team. I'm just going to switch out now to Kling Clang. <laughs> and swords that jump off isn't particularly uh, attack worthy. I'm just going to T wave it. And yeah, there you go. Only 30% damage. Just laughable, really. Just gonna go the gear grind, get a lot of damage on it. And that actually did more than I thought it would. And just finish it off with gear grind. Decides to switch. I'm gonna get a lot of damage off whatever comes in. But if he does decide to switch, it's really pretty pointless unless he uses his death fodder. Apparently he thinks the same and he switches out. He, sorry, he lets it die. Whisk Cash, I'm not sure what to expect from that. I'm just going to switch into Togetic and Encore that Dragon Dance. Or a Stone Edge, as the case may be. Stone Edge is max damage there, apparently. And I'm going to go into a. Probably just go into a Lomomola, get a Toxic off, and go from there. Yeah, that was joke damage, buddy. It's not going to do anything. Get the wish off. And just heal up. This is a toxic stall team, by the way. And it is... I can actually... Uh, that actually hurt a little bit more than I thought it would. I can actually get toxics off on even poison types and steel types. So, not too much to be concerned about. Go for the Dragon Dance, as I go for the Wish. And he should die next turn. If he doesn't, I'll use something as Death Fodder. And, well, yep, he's dead. There's another problem down the drain. Just going to soak it, and this Hornitor is actually going to be a bit of a pain. I don't know what to switch out to now. Probably Moongus, try and get it to wake up. If I can get it to wake up and spore it, um, won't be particularly threatened. If I can't spore it, then that's a problem. Ah, oh, good. Now I can start Giga Draining. Get some health back. Get a lot of health back, apparently. <laughs> that is absolutely brilliant. And when I switch it out, I'll just get even more health back because of Regenerator. I think the main threats on his team are pretty much out of the way. I'm just going to switch now because I've got the special defense drop, unfortunately. I'm not sure. I've seen pincers with special attacks before, so I'm not exactly sure what he can do. I'll go to Regirock just in case for close combat so I can... Uh, there's a the close combat. Good, not threatened. I'm just going to spore it. Unless he gets a crit. Wasn't expecting that at all. I could end up losing this big time. And then again, maybe not. Get the toxic off, and I would rather let something else die than 
this thing. I'd rather let the Kling Klang die. It's going to take life orb damage and poison damage, and now I'm just going to switch back into Elamomola and protect. Beautiful. Still have a chance. Still got my banded uh, pincer of my own, so I hopefully I'm okay. Pitiful damage right there. Uh, wish protect uh, facade. That's annoying actually. That probably would have bought, done more damage in the close combat that he did before. And this is what I've got to pin my hopes on. It's got an Altaria. Close combat. See how much it does. He's actually faster. I'm guessing it's scarfed. Well, I've never seen an offensive Altaria before, but GG Supi. It was a good battle. Um, zero 0-1. Not a bad result, considering I don't really usually battle you, uh, NU. But good game.